Known for its miracle-like healing abilities, Bacta is a well-established and recognized healing agent within the Star Wars universe. However, Legends also contained another powerful healing substance that very closely resembled Bacta, and which produced many of the same results. This substance was known as Colto. In this video expose, I will describe the differences and similarities between Bacta and Colto, and explain why it was Bacta that emerged as the go-to healing agent by the time of the Clone War. Let's start by explaining the differences between Bacta and Colto when it comes to its origins and composition. Bacta was discovered and originated on the interim planet of Thyphera through the efforts of the Vraetic species. In contrast, Colto originated on the interim planet of Manan, and more specifically, within the water of the ocean-covered planet, with large concentrations of Colto being located within underwater chasms. One of the primary differences between Bacta and Colto was the composition of each substance. While Colto was a natural liquid that could be used as a healing agent once taken out of the depths of Manan with no additional substances added, the same could not be said for Bacta. Rather than being a single substance, Bacta was a compound consisting of numerous ones. At the base of Bacta was a lotion in which bacterial particles called alazi and cavum would be mixed into. Once these particles were added, an additional liquid would be mixed in called ambori to produce the end product of Bacta. Not only did both Bacta and Colto provide exceptional healing attributes, the methods for administering each substance were also very similar. Both were commonly applied by being completely submerged in a tank full of the product. Once submerged, either within a Colto tank or a Bacta tank, patients would remain within the tank until their wounds and injuries were completely healed. However, both Bacta and Colto could also be applied in smaller amounts for less severe injuries. For example, both healing agents could be administered through small medical patches. Both Bacta and Colto could also be tailored in a way that made its dosages either weaker or stronger. For example, Bacta could be produced in various strengths and potencies, or produced to be made of a lesser quality. Similarly, Colto could be produced so that its properties could be tailored to meet the needs of the patient, wherein the concentration of Colto's healing ability was either increased or decreased. Although the exact time period in which Colto was discovered is not known, we do know that Colto was a precursor to Bacta, and saw significant use during the Jedi Civil War, which occurred roughly 4,000 years before the Clone War. It was during the Jedi Civil War where Colto became an extremely valuable commodity, wherein the Sith Empire on one side, and the Jedi Order and Galactic Republic on the other, each tried to control the limited supply of Colto to gain an advantage in the war. The same attempt to gain a monopoly over the product happened with Bacta roughly 4,000 years later, when the Galactic Empire under Palpatine carefully controlled the manufacture of Bacta, reducing its production to only two producers that were heavily influenced by the Empire itself. The origins of Bacta is better established, as we know that its properties became known to the galaxy at large roughly 4,100 years before the Clone Wars thereby helping the Vraetic species achieve prominence throughout the galaxy. This explains why the use of Colto started to rapidly decline following the Jedi Civil War, about 200 years after the discovery of Bacta. So it has to be asked, why was Colto ultimately replaced by Bacta? Although it's difficult to point to one specific reason for the decline of Colto within the galaxy, what we do know is that Bacta was far more effective as a healing substance than Colto. This increased superiority of Bacta seems to have had a devastating effect on the production of Colto upon the planet of Manan. With a decrease in production, the price of Colto increased, leaving the producers with a product that was expensive and a less powerful healing agent than Bacta, thereby collapsing the economy of the planet and causing Colto to be almost completely forgotten throughout the galaxy. However, it should be noted that in the novel Darth Bane, Path of Destruction, roughly 1,000 years before the Clone War, Colto was still in use in some places within the galaxy. 
Although it seems to have been cheaper than Bacta by this time, it was shown to be grossly ineffective in comparison to Bacta, and thus looked down upon and viewed as a last resort. As described by Darth Bane, or Dessel as he was known at the time, a man who he disfigured in a fight could have been back to normal and fully healed within a day if he underwent Bacta therapy, but having to resort to Colto injections would prolong the healing process to five days. Therefore, given that Colto was far less effective than Bacta, and accounting for the fact that innovations over the next 1,000 years probably helped to bring the cost of Bacta down, Bacta was a far superior product and ultimately pushed Colto and its healing abilities out of the galaxy's consciousness. So there we have it, a comparison of Colto and Bacta, and the reasons why Bacta emerged to be the galaxy's leading medical substance. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions? Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. If not for me... For the progenitor!